And our next question comes from Melanie in Iowa, who fears her twisting stomach might be a sign of an intestinal worm. She writes, Dear doctors, for the last few months, I've been experiencing abdominal pain and bloating every time I eat. Sometimes my stool even looks unusual. My doctor says it's IBS, but after doing some research, I feel like maybe I have a stomach parasite. Is this possible? To help us answer this question, we have gastroenterologist Dr. Sue Satcher from Beverly Hills with us. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And this is a question people have all the time. What in the world is an intestinal parasite to start with? Well, a parasite's an organism, and it uses your body to live in, your food to eat, and basically your intestines to mate and reproduce in. Mm. And kind quite frankly, loader. they're pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. are pretty nasty. That's not fair. You know, if you knew that you had this hanging out inside of you, oh. mm -hmm. that would give me some pause. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about roundworms, tapeworms, these types of parasites? Well, roundworms are very common. In fact, roundworms can affect up to one billion people worldwide. They are more common when you're traveling, and I, I understand you have a little prop there that maybe we can show people yeah, how big these actually, can get. Yeah, actually, if you think that's gross, help me out here, Travis. So is this basically pretend this is a worm in my body? Yeah, we're pretending this, this is, is a tapeworm. This is how long it can be? Tapeworms are very long and the longest worm that can be in a human body. Up to 50 feet long this worm oh, can be. Oh and gosh. the worst part, you can have it in your body for 20 years and not even know about it. Wow. Jeez. Symptoms um, uh, are very nonspecific. this thing decides um, to leave your body? Imagine going to the restroom and this thing comes out. Oh my gosh. You'll see. I think I'd call my doctor. Unfortunately, we really don't see them that often here, but you know, if you have been checked out and you have continuous symptoms, this is something that you should go and see your gastroenterologist. And there are tests that can be performed. How do we get parasites in the first place? Well, let's watch this animation because oftentimes it's due to the foods that you're eating that haven't been properly cleaned. They're contaminated in some form or another. These parasites will be ingested. And then what happens, like we were talking about, is they live off of the food in your intestinal tract, in your stomach, and as they feed, they nourish themselves. And, well, maybe that's not a big problem, but we saw how big those roundworms and tapeworms can become. But they can, they can, in some cases, parasites actually have the ability, and this is what's somewhat frightening about parasites, to invade through your intestinal wall, get into your bloodstream. And when that happens, through the life cycle of certain parasites, they sometimes can infest your liver, mm -hmm. and even sometimes they can get into your brain. But here's the good news. If you find out you have one of these parasites in your intestinal tract, treatment. Treatment is wonderful. In fact, for some worms, one dose can do the trick. That's all you need. But most of the worms get treated a second time around just to make sure we get all those eggs that are left over. And as far as any tips you should give to travelers? Yes, you should stay away from ice cubes people forget about. They always think it has to be water to drink. Also, wash all your fruit and preferably peel them if you can. I'm never going out to eat ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Satcher.